following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Get to the next topic. And that's definitely um, got to be Rick Ross, man. Jesus Christ. What's up with this nigga Rick Ross, man? Ross recently got the brakes beat off his ass in Canada by a whole flock of Drake fans. And honestly, I don't condone violence or nothing. But he had it coming. Pause. I got that thug in love. Let's get to the videotape. <laughs> Let's get to the videotape. Give me one second. So they're going back and forth. Clearly, these guys from Canada don't like um, the fact that Ross um, finished his set and he had his DJ play, They Not Like Us. So that's what they're arguing with him about. Let me see if I can go back. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm, I'm gonna go back to that. Let me see if I can uh, enlarge the screen up. All right. See if we can go back to that exact point where Ross caught the the right hand. Here we go. Oh, see that. So as you can see, Ross caught that right and then Ross, they backed Ross out of it. The biggest boss that you've seen thus far. Won't even throw a punch, bro. Won't even throw a punch. Let's go. His his whole team getting the brakes beat off of him. Yo, man, real quick, real quick. Shout out to Canada, man. God damn, Canada went hard, bro. Canada went hard, man. We got to. Man, don't, don't play with Canada. Look how they doing Ross and them. What's up, dog? You're in our fucking city. What's up? Every day I'm hustling. What's up, nigga? Every day. You gonna press the show in our fucking city, nigga? What's up? What's up? Look at Ross, still talking trash. Still ain't throwing a punch yet. His team on the ropes. I right, look, so look, Ross man, he just swung on homie right there. Now watch what happens to him. Look at this. Look at this. That's homie that threw that punch. Look. Look. 
Don't play with Canada, man. Don't play with Canada, bro. Look, I'm, <laughs> they not playing, dog. <laughs> they not playing. But like I said, though, man. Like I said, I'm glad no one got seriously injured or killed. Um, but this nigga Rick Ross had it coming, man. First off, let me get this off the screen. Give me one second. Good Lord. All right. First off. All right. It's off the screen. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. Man, first off, uh, Ross entered himself into a beef that had absolutely nothing to do with him. Then he insulted this man for one being half white and for two being Canadian then you water your big back ass outside in Canada have your DJ play not like us which is literally referring to damn near the whole crowd and you expected it to be sweet I mean he out there vibing smoking on his cigar like, like, like he actually believes he's the biggest boss that we've seen thus far and them Canadian niggas Showing him otherwise. Then he ain't swing back or nothing. He just sat back there and caught the L. I can't at, at this point, I can't believe a damn thing in this nigga music at all anymore. I can't. This is definitely this is definitely a cheddar bob moment for Rick Ross. All he had to do was show some re uh, some respect for the people he's, whose country he was in and everything would have been fine. But instead, now he's the laughing stock of the internet. And you know, uh, homie, 50 Cent, 50 Cent was the very first person to get at him. Let's go. Let's get to the videotape. I mean, 50 ain't waste no time, bro. 50 ain't waste no time at all. Let's see if I can find that. Where is it? All right, here we go. 50 ain't waste no time, cuz. Hey, guys. You know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada. And I want to say to everyone, you know, that I... Um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the, uh, the dream chasers or um <laughs> the 305 killers <laughs> <laughs> patty 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 man but i'm telling you listen it gets even worse it gets even worse i mean 50 just kept it going bro he kept it going man um there's another video of an instagram live with 50 earthquake and keep sweat of all fucking people <laughs> keep sweat you know what I'm saying? You saw that here. This like, happened in Canada. Rick Ross got fucked up, man. All his bodyguards need to resign, nigga. Bro, them bro, niggas, bro. they failed the number one thing. They ain't got nobody bodies. <laughs> Facts. Let's let it go. Okay, <laughs> I mean, my nigga just stayed down that bitch and kept letting 
Yes, they ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> something ain't right. Yeah, I think that's wrong. Something, son, something, son, son just that ain't right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> But man, I, I can do this motherfucker all day with y'all. Keep them up, I'm made right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe let me let me let me just look better. That's that Harlem Hunt 25th Street, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you That's that Grand Project in me. I can't it. What you That's that. <laughs> So yeah, man. Uh, first off, man, we are not a serious culture at all. We are we are not serious, bro. We are not serious. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, not a good look for Ross. Um, you want to challenge a nigga's character for being from Canada and being white, only to get your ass spanked by the same type of niggas. Blood clot. Now, someone did come to Ross's defense. Somebody came to Ross's defense. Uh, Uncle Luke popped up out of nowhere. It had this to say. Let's get the Luke's video. Hold on. Let's get the Luke's video. Give me a second, guys. All right. All right, we got Uncle Luke's video here. Let's go. Let's get it. This whole fighting uh, my boy Ross and his guys in Canada that's unacceptable it's unacceptable unacceptable that don't happen that don't supposed to happen and what's more unacceptable is when Mr. Drake liked the post that also is unacceptable. I expect more out of Mr. Drake. When there is violence, when there's violence, you don't condone it. You should be bigger than that. Mr. Drake, you should be bigger than that. When there's violence, you don't condone that. You don't like, like no poses and all that. Poses, come on, bro, you 50 years old. 50 something years old and you can't even talk poses. So what is Drake supposed to do? Rick Ross involuntarily, or excuse me, voluntarily hopped into a beef that had nothing to do with him. Absolutely nothing to do with him. He hops in the beef, teases him for being white and teases him for being Canadian. Has all type of grimy shit to say about Drake for the simple fact that he's white or half white and Canadian. Then he proceeds to go to Canada that is a primarily white country, perform and then instruct his DJ to play a song that is disrespectful subliminally to whites and Canadians. What do you expect Drake to do? I would have liked the shit too. Matter of fact, I, 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 Drake is a better man than me because I would have I would have made a public statement about it. But what I don't like what what Luke is doing here. Luke is insinuating that these people were sent by Drake, or at least that's what he's about to do. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Luke go ahead and cook. Because here's what happens. There's always a backlash of it all. Here's what happens when now you've inserted yourself, even if you were not involved, half of the country think you set the man up. They book a show in, in Canada and you send your goons out there uh, to agitate and start a fight with Ross. And y'all do what you do on the, on the TV. Half the country think that. When you, Mr. Drake, like the post, you just inserted yourself into violence 
toward Mr. Ross and his crew. Now, let me just say this. I, I got to stop it right there. I, I, I got to stop it right there. Because how does he have all this smoke for Drake, who simply liked the post, didn't take credit for the attack, anything like that? 50 Cent, Earthquake, and Keith Sweat. Literally, Bobby Smurda, the list goes on. All these niggas clowned Rick Ross for this. But you have nothing to say to them? You got nothing to say to them. You know why? Because this is what these niggas do. This is what, um, especially rappers, and this, I mean, I don't know Luke, but I mean, he's, he's displaying the symptoms. But this is what these rap niggas do. These rap niggas are notoriously fraudulent dudes that are supposed to be from the street or implied, or they have some type of implied street credibility. And it burns these niggas up, especially, especially the ones that have the implied street credibility. It burns these niggas up. That a nigga like Drake, who came in the game and didn't claim any of that stuff, is on top. It burns them up. It burns them up. Especially with a nigga like, like Drake, because he's a little cocky and arrogant. You know what I mean? And Drake is not an apologist. Drake doesn't apologize for being uh, successful, as opposed to Drake Cole. J. Cole, you know, same mixed mixed dude, came in the game, not a gangster. But J. Cole wants to be liked by niggas. He wants to be accepted by hood niggas. He wants everyone to like him. I'm, I'm more so like Drake, even though I do like J. Cole. I don't care if you niggas like me or not. And that's what they can't stand. They can't stand it. And for years, everybody had to kiss the ring to Drake. And it's eating them all up. And, and Luke ain't no different. Luke ain't make no damn live video when niggas shot Drake house up. Where was the live video at? Where was the call to end the violence? There was no call. If Drake would have got his ass whooped the way Rick Ross just did, niggas would have been, it would have been a fucking parade in the streets. Nobody would have lost a, a second of sleep. Let's go. As a broker, a piece for Tupac, for Tupac and, Biggie. and Biggie. I think niggas always want to bring Tupac and Biggie in it. Blood clap. Let's go, man. You know this shit in, man. I mean, I mean the, these, these other young guys, we're going to have to have a conversation with a, a lot of these other young guys who dying with these sisters' deaths and, and these songs and all that. Hey, y'all brothers are talented. Y'all got to understand, y'all talented. Y'all don't need that. Y'all talented as fuck. Y'all getting people to buy the records. People are buying your records because people are buying your records because they like the music. They like what you're saying in the records. Just leave it there, young fellas, young fellas, but now these grown ass ones right here. Mr. Drake and Mr. Ross. When you like the post and you on there doing your little, okay, it's a beautiful day in Canada and you like the post, you just inserted yourself in some shit. Now, Look how this all play out. I'll keep it 1,000. Look how it all play out. Oh, so half the country thinking that you, uh, Ross didn't play the record, the Kendrick Lamar record, and he got jumped on because he played the Kendrick Lamar record. So now you got a whole West Coast of people. They at your head. Oh, oh that's what we doing? You don't need that, Mr. Drake. You don't need to be confined. You're too talented. I like you. I got friends that like you. I don't know you personally, don't need to know you personally, but you're too talented to insert yourself in some shit that you're not really, you're not really about. To have a whole, whole coast 
at your head. You don't want that. I don't want that for you. Now, here's how this shit works out. Because, again, look, I had the same conversation with Biggie and Pop. I'm the, probably one of the only few niggas that could talk to them straight up. I was on the road with Biggie when people would be singing Biggie songs in the stadium. Nigga, everybody know that Diddy's the one. Well, allegedly. This is all behind Diddy. Ain't no coast have nothing to do with nothing. A West Coast nigga shot Pac. A East Coast nigga ain't shoot Pac. It was a West Coast nigga that shot him. So what are you talking about? A nigga that's from down the street where Pac and them hang killed him. It's man, this is hilarious, man. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It took for Rick Ross to get his ass beat by some white boys and a couple of, you know, uh, black dudes from Canada for Luke to come out and say, stop the violence. All the shit going on in Florida right now. That nigga Fulio just died a couple hours away from you. Where's your response to that? Do some real shit going on. That shit been going on for years up there in Jacksonville. What you got to say about that? I'll tell you what you got. I'll get to it later. I'm going to let this video play. But I'm going to give you my assessment on niggas like Luke and all these old rapper niggas that want to fucking uh, respond to some shit now. Even though you niggas laid the groundwork for all of this shit. You niggas laid the groundwork for this. While, no, singing pop this song while Biggie on stage. I've seen this thing. And I've seen this man, you know, like, man, I'm not really about that. I, I love Buddy. Biggie never felt, Biggie never uh, jumped into the shit. Biggie never said anything. He, he was like, look, man, I'm leaving that shit alone, man. I, I ain't really on that. I, I, I talked to Biggie. I talked to Pop. I went to... I'm going to let him cook. I'm going to let him cook for a few minutes. So bear with me. I'm going to let this nigga cook. We in here tonight. If you watching live on YouTube, hit that like button. Hit that share button. If you live on X, hit the like button. Hit the retweet. Same thing on Facebook. We going to let this nigga Luke cook. But we gonna fry this fraudulent culture tonight. Let's get it. Shook nightclub as soon as Pac got out of jail. And had a conversation with him on this shit here. Hey, Pac, look here, man. Same thing I'm saying to y'all. Leave this shit alone, boss. Because it's not gonna be the rapper pull the trigger. It's not gonna be the rapper pull the trigger. It's not gonna be the rapper that robs somebody. It's not gonna be the rapper that that do some some. No, it's gonna be somebody looking for a come up. It's gonna be somebody looking for a come up. Or uh, it's gonna be some super fan who gonna then do the do the shooting. You won't be knowing where it's coming from. Granted. Drake's house was already shot up. So you're already too late. Drake's house was already shot up. Your speech is too late, nigga. So I would have expected Mr. Drake to, to, to be like, yo, I don't condone violence. That ain't what it is. I don't, you know. Yo, didn't nobody not condone violence when Drake's security guard got shot out in front of his house? Nobody came out and was like, yo, we shouldn't condone violence. They should stop the beef. No, you know what nigga said? Nigga said, oh, this was orchestrated by Drake so he could get out of the fucking rap beef. They clowned this nigga after his, one of his trusted whatever people around him was shot in critical condition. They clowned Drake. They made it seem like Drake did it on purpose just to get out of the beef. None of you niggas said nothing. Rick Ross, you know, catch a, a one right hook. 
and his weak ass team gets stomped out. Now you niggas want to call for peace? You niggas is sad, bro. I put this shit on Do Not Disturb. How the, how the hell do I keep getting text messages? I guess that's what I get for not updating my goddamn um, uh, iOS. <laughs> <laughs> I be complaining like shit about my phone, but then I realize y'all, they keep telling me, yo, update your iOS, update your iOS, every day, update your iOS. I'm like, nah, I'll do that shit later. And now I'm getting text messages when it's on Do Not Disturb in a live stream. Blood clap. It's my fault though. See, that's accountability, people. Accountability. I'm updating my shit tonight. Anyways, where was I at? I don't even know. Let's get back to the video. I don't have nothing to do with that. Or uh, none of that, you, you feel me? Because y'all can play the little games when you're talking on this, on this, in, this social media shit, and you're doing your little texting and you're tweeting and you're talking and all the however y'all say whatever y'all want to say about each other. You can do that on here, but when you go to put hands on people, when you go to put hands on people, that's when the shit go to a whole nother level. When you go put your hands on people that go to a whole nother level, so people didn't have to put hands on on you. And then they can have a conversation about it. Somebody got it. You got to be the bigger person than that. Y'all on here doing all this. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones. Word, word would never hurt me. Ain't nobody put no hands on nobody but until now. See, all these dudes gonna get on here and they gonna talk that sucker shit and all that and they gonna think this is a game. This is not a game. Because you put your hands on, on your homeboys put their hands on. They did not put their hands on Ross. They put their hands on Sam. That's false. Ross definitely caught a strong right. Come on, bro. Come on, Luke. And them other people who are with Ross. The rapper never gets hands put on them. It's the other people, and then it's the other people that really be by their life. But like what we just saw in the video, them niggas that's with Ross wasn't about that life. They got punished. And Ross wasn't about that life. Now look, I'm not one to make fun of somebody from um their boxing videos i posted me in boxing training on, on the internet plenty of times my shit ain't the greatest you know what i mean i look fucking crazy just like anybody does that doesn't box but <laughs> looking at ross the other night now i see why niggas was clowning them <laughs> for them videos that he posted of him fake boxing training Like he literally, he, he, I mean, like he, he just gave up. He got, he got stole. Then he just backed off and was like waiting for his security to do shit. It be the other people who be with the rapper who really own that shit. The, the rapper, rapper just, just takes these other people who be with them because they're in the streets every day and they take them with them to get them out of the streets to try to save their lives. Yo, say what you want, right? About a lot of these old niggas, right? From, from black history right but yo we went from from old niggas like Booker T Washington um Thurgood Marshall uh and say what you want about their I don't, I don't agree with Thurgood Marshall's prim, uh, principles I mean uh politics but Thurgood Marshall freaking uh Medgar Evans all these type of dudes to these niggas that could barely talk T-shirt and fitted cap ass niggas at 60 can't even talk. These are the elders in our society, bro. It's a wash. I keep telling you niggas, it's a wash, bro. The 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 culture is over. Well, no, the culture is still alive. But the community is through. This culture is prof profitable. So, you know, those who profit off the culture, they're gonna continue to profit. But the community is through.
Trust and believe that. The community is through. But then now when you go and put your hands on them dudes, them, them dudes about their life. They ain't with the sucker shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm giving you, I'm putting you up on game now. You ain't never seen no rapper with no bunch of Valley Victorian scholars uh, uh, and all that. What we do is we take our dogs, dudes who we came up with, and we try to show them a better life. We take them around the world. We put them on the plane. We fly them over here. You come on, man. Come on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, and this, has, don't, this don't got nothing to do with nothing. We're in a dangerous territory right now as people quote unquote call themselves black Americans we are now entering the first generation of 60 year old single mother raised grandfathers bro it's officially over it's over. It's checkmate, nigga. These are the grandfathers. These are the grandfathers, bro. This is grandpa. And what's crazy is he'd be considered an old. And most of you um wild ass niggas' houses, he a great grandpa at 60. He a great grandpa at 60. This is the grandfathers, bro. My grandfather at least wore a button-up collar shirt every day. Nigga went outside, did work, could show you how to use a hammer, gave you a fucking life lesson, would kick your ass if you needed it. But this is, these are the grandfathers now. Old niggas that walk the streets and look like this. Man, the white man, blah, blah, blah. these niggas. Are we in a sad state of affairs, bro? I already know you hard in them streets. Let me show you some different. Let me let me put you on game. Let me let me get you in this business some kind of way so you can change your life. But then now when you put that street shit on one of these streets, dude, in this rap game, bro. The kid who was laying down, the kid who was laying down on the ground. I'm gonna leave that like that. So it ain't the rapper. It's not the rapper. The rapper never gets touched. The rapper never gets touched. He gets backed up. He he just. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get gonna. a little push or shove, but then it's the guys around. And then what ends up happening is you condone it. No, you don't want to do that. You gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be like, hey, look here, man. I don't condone no violence. Let me get on the phone. Hey, man, look here, man. Look, man, I ain't with them people. Now, if you with them people, if you with them people now, if you with them people, then you go tweet, yeah, good job. And then you gotta you gotta deal with the consequences that come behind that. It ain't gonna be the rapper that touch you, it's gonna be the people who around you. And for all you other guys who think this is a joke. Everybody else who think it's a joke, it's not a joke, boss. And I, I expect more out of my elder rappers. Everything ain't funny. Everything ain't joke business. Everything ain't joke business. I expect guys who've been in the game for a long time, this is not the time. When people go to put hands on people, this is not the time to joke. This ain't no fucking joke, bro. This is not the time to joke, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't joke. And then when you invoke 305 in that, that you don't want to do. Just one thing about it. We got a whole... 50 Cent literally... I just played the video. 50 Cent literally just did that. He never said 50 Cent's name once. But 50 Cent made a joke of the 305. 50 made a joke of it. But this is directed towards Drake. Why? Because Drake is perceived to be soft because he's a light-skinned nigga from Canada. But as you saw in the Ross video, you can catch an L in Canada from light-skinned niggas, white boys, and Canadians alike. 
Because nobody likes disrespect. But it's funny though. He keeps talking about man, what, what's going on in the city? What, don't put the city in it. Don't invoke 305 and all this. So what? So what? Why are niggas so quick to fucking defend a city and a government that you claim is so racist? Nigga, the city of Miami don't owe you shit and you don't owe them nothing either. But their taxes. But that's why rap is a tool. That's why rap is a tool for the elite. Because they can control you stupid ass niggas to manipulate the fucking statistics any way they'd like. They don't even have to lie about the statistics. You know why? Because if they can highlight these dumbass rappers and gaslight you dumbass niggas, no matter if it's about defending your city or if it's just the, the piss poor music in general that you react to and live your lives by, they can manipulate your lives. And they can carry out their real goals based on the numbers that you produce. That's a whole, that's a deeper conversation though. Because then, you know, we start talking about Marxism and the whole nine. But you niggas, oh, don't talk about my city ass niggas. You some stupid nigga. I don't give it. You can come, you can talk all the shit in the world you want about Washington, D.C. I don't care. I promise you, I'm going to get money and I'm going about worry. I'm worried about sending my kids to private school and my wife and I catching flights to exotic places. I don't give a fuck about what you say about DC. You can come piss on Mary and Barry statue all you want. I don't care. Cause I don't owe DC shit. I paid my taxes already. But we got old niggas like Luke dog whistling shit out to Miami niggas. That's what I'm saying, bro. We in bad shape, dog. This, these are the grandfathers at this point. These are the fucking grandfathers. A bunch of people down here that, that I said a long time ago. We got a whole bunch of people down here that I said a long time ago. Y'all need to check these people. My nigga, you know what my grandfather would have told me? Man, boy, mind your business and go to work. That's it. Simple ass niggas. Let's go, man. We had the dope, but then obviously we had a lot of groupy ass people around here start bringing these dudes around here and allowing them to just come run up and down here. But but they run around on South Beach. Let me just let y'all know that right now. That's South Beach. The dope could close for all you motherfuckers real quick. The dope could close for everybody. Don't invoke 305 in your jokes about that situation because you you invoke a whole a whole situation so play your little games with your words if you want to do wordplay with ross and anybody else do your little wordplay with all that but don't say keep 305 out your mouth i'm just i'm just telling you right now because it, it, it this is everybody everybody has some as a part of their city where people really bleed this shit Everybody has a part of their city. I don't care whether you're from Raleigh, North Carolina. You could be from Fayetteville. You could be from Brooklyn. You could be from the Bronx. You could be from Inglewood. You could, everybody, everybody, you got people on oh, every. If you bleed your city, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Nigga, pay your taxes and stack your money and take care of your family. You should bleed for your family, not your city. You're an idiot. And this is why the black community is so messed up. Yes, earlier I said, what I said was, it, re, it, it the common denominator, denominator is black women, which I stand to, even though we got an older black man here talking like a fool, right? But my question is, who raised him? 
That's my question. Let's continue. Wow, well, that bleed this shit they ain't really with the Hollywoodness. I'm telling you right now. It's a lot of people who ain't buy, ain't and don't play like that. So when you're doing your little games with the with your rappers and you're running off at the mile and you're joking them and all that, don't joke, don't joke my city. I'm telling you that right now. Just don't joke the city, boss. Don't joke the city. We ain't no jokes. That shit you see, we are not South Beach. What you see over there on South Beach? That's them over there. People down here. That nigga look like he on South Beach. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you with the palm trees and shit in the background. You look like you at you, nigga look like he on South Beach, man. I mean, probably in Fort Lauderdale somewhere. And I'm talking all that shit. They bleed and shit. Don't joke, don't joke the city. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. But for the most part, people. As an elder statesman that has seen two of my good friends, Biggie and an elder statesman talking about don't joke the city. Like niggas act like they got a standing army for their city. <laughs> niggas be killing me, bro. You the same niggas. Right? You the same niggas running around talking about how racist shit is. How about the cops be doing this and the cops be doing that? But why you don't do nothing to the cops and the racist? The only time you niggas mount up and do anything is when it comes to another black uh, famous person and another black famous person get into it and whatever. So you niggas are come together to fuck Drake up but you won't go out here and look for George Zimmerman. And keep in mind, I'm not one of these niggas. I don't, listen, it's a lot of things that you don't know about the Trayvon Martin situation. So you may want to do, do, do more research about it. Either way, I don't know George Zimmerman at all. So whatever you want to do with that nigga, you do it. But I'm just saying, from the evidence that I've seen, Trayvon ain't that innocent either. But that's neither here nor there. You niggas so big and bad in Florida, nigga, go get him. You so big and bad, and, 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 and you think, oh man, these, these old Florida niggas, man, they the worst. Old Florida niggas, you old Florida niggas claim that the state is so racist, but yet a fight breaks out where no one gets killed in a whole other country. Now you niggas are, ride, are ready to ride for the city. But when you thought uh, George Zimmerman, whatever, murdered Trayvon Martin for no reason, that nigga walked the streets every day, chilling, sold the pistol and a bag of Skittles. You niggas ain't do shit. It don't impress me what you can do to another nigga. You still a coward. And I don't even think that it, I don't even think that Zimmerman is, is guilty like that. But I'm telling you, if you do, which is what most niggas think, why you still let that nigga walk the streets? If you think DeSantis is a racist, which I don't, why you let DeSantis walk the streets? Threatening motherfuckers. So you only threatening the people that you think you can threaten. But I guarantee you. Drake could fly in and out of Miami all day in the paint, and I guarantee you won't nobody touch him. Why? Because niggas can't fuck with Drake's security team. I guarantee you that. Funny story. I, I was watching um, Wack 100 tell a story about because he was beefing with 50 Cent or whatever, right? And what he said was, <laughs> and y'all niggas need to look this shit up. Black 100 talks about um, when he caught 50, right? 50 Cent had like fucking Secret Service type of security. And them motherfucking blood niggas folded. Them niggas ain't want no smoke with that. 50 had niggas in suits in the, in the lobby like doing all that. 
Nigga, you think Drake ain't coming through with that? You crazy. The boy worth half a billy. If you don't think Drake's security team ain't coming through sweeping shit wherever you go, you got to be crazy. Or you got to be an old Miami nigga. You think niggas with money is really scared of you niggas that's talking about you on the street? Now, if Drake had a problem with the Colombian mob, that's something to be, that's something to not come to Miami about. If I got a problem with the Russian mob from Miami, that's a problem. If I got a problem with a cartel in Miami, that's a problem. But a couple of niggas mad because of a rap song, I ain't worried about you dusty ass niggas. A few niggas in suits with walkie talkies, they don't even gotta have no guns. They'll scare you dumbass niggas off. Oh, oh shit, you got the feds with him. <laughs> Whole time, it's a motherfucking regular ass motherfucker in a fucking uh, sports jacket with a walkie talkie, and you scared to death. Nigga, man. I'm telling you, bro. The thing that pisses me off, and, and let's just talk about it. The thing that pisses me off most about um, Luke is, nigga, this the world, this the world. Luke, Luke, li listen to me, Luke. Luke, this is the world you fought hard to create. See Dolores Tucker. And the Reverend Calvin Butts tried to warn all you niggas back in the 90s what this was going to turn into. Nigga, Luke, you owe C. Dolores Tucker an apology because she called it. But Calvin Butts, C. Dolores Tucker, and all the people that you rap niggas laughed at and called crazy racist wondering why they call you bitch all them people they called this shit and now y'all sitting up making tiktoks about it man y'all put down the guns no nigga y'all did this man y'all laughed now y'all look just like them 2024 y'all look just like them they sat back and tried to tell you niggas back then that what you was doing was wrong and you laughed at them took money from your labels <laughs> paid their cousins who were your lawyers they handled it for you and you laughed at them turn around to 2024 look who's getting laughed at now you old silly niggas. You created this shit. Everyone's, besides niggas that don't know no better, everyone's laughing at you old niggas at this point. Reason number 4,336 why black culture is dead. But I digress, man. I digress, man. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Now, <sighs> I saw a lot of uh, comments, especially under the Baller Alert page, that were trying to claim that um, the people who beat up Rick Ross and all that shit, they were trying to claim it was racism. Right? Nah. This ain't no racism. This ain't no racism. First off, it was a mixture of black and white dudes that handled y'all and gave you that ass kicking. But even if it was only white dudes, it still isn't racist. See, niggas are so used to talking so much shit about white people that they think it's sweet out here. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, you know who's up in all the kickboxing and uh, MMA mixed martial art classes? 
it's white boys. While you niggas is getting drunk and high all day, drinking Slurpees and doping down fucking spicy Chick Fil A sandwiches, them niggas is training. Matter of fact, they're either training in the gym or training at the range. And the funny part is, they're not even training for you. But you dumbass n- niggas think that you're gonna have a war with them. They're not even training for you. But but if the war that you niggas act like you want pops off, it could get handled easily because you're not equipped. I mean, I- I'm gonna tell you what it is. You know what this is like. This is like, this is like the Morgan State Bears having a having a rivalry with the fucking um, New England Patriots. Like, <laughs> like they, what are you talking about? Like, we ain't even. It's <laughs> like the Morgan State Bears having a beef with the New England Patriots. It's not even close. So that's all I'm saying, man. You know, it, it's 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 not in black folks' best interest, right? It's not in black folks' best interest to even insinuate that you want a war with another group or 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 some group is out to get you. No, the only people that's out to get out to get us is us. That's why when this whole shit with Ross and Drake went down and he started to bring race into it, I instantly counted that shit as a loss for the big boss. No pun intended.